better off Where do we get in at Target? Um, I don't know. All right, do we ever know? We just go, don't we? <laughs> Y'all, so my skin has been looking really dusty, crusty. Not, not too dusty, crusty. Let me adjust the light up a little bit, but not to my liking but yeah i was like let me do a microdermabrasion um facial on myself before i start working since i did a voiceover on my other video i figured i just talk to y'all through this me and my husband i was taking marley to school this morning and i was just turning my steam around and i was just telling him like like when him and i dated in the beginning it was really like fun like it was like no pressure we had um other people that we were you know seeing because we, we weren't officially together when we met we really like experienced each other and i feel like people don't take the time to really experience people before they actually decide they like a person right you can't like you can like somebody but i'm saying like know a person right and so i had a couple of girlfriends this week kind of <coughs> okay the thing about these steamers they'll clear all this up so <coughs> if you have like some sinus issues or whatever this is really good for that i washed my face already so i'm gonna go go ahead and microderm abrasion my face with this little tool right here i got this tool from amazon now this isn't the one that i've been seeing on tiktok i think before doing them yourself got popular i had this and i just never used it didn't know what to do putting the steam on my face it really feels good so you can do this about three minutes and what you're supposed to do is go away from your face avoid your eye area i don't do none of that because my eyes are very sensitive but anyway back to the subject i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna actually turn this down i feel like she is going a little hard so yeah i had a couple of girlfriends this week kind of tell me like you know the dating pool has pee in it and all that stuff any of this i'm not going to deny that at all but i also feel like we have a lot of expectations when we're just meeting people i think right off the back we be wanting people to like marry us right off the back and we don't even be knowing who we are we just we want to like we want what we want and i and i get it but i also feel like i've been saying this for a long time to my friends like relax if you are dating a guy or seeing a guy or talking to a guy and it's been three months it really is too soon to me to know 
you to know everything about this person like you can know their routines you can know like you know little facts about them but we're not gonna pretend like you really know everything about this person to really even know that you really like this person what tends to happen is we be wanting to cut people off when people don't do what we want them to do but i think what I find is that people don't really look into themselves. Um, I'm putting this mask on my face. I also feel like um, we don't look at ourselves. We don't, while we're always pointing the finger at the men or even if you a guy that's always pointing the finger at how women move or whatever, I think sometimes we neglect and look at ourselves. We think we're perfect. That's like a natural thing. We think we all think we're good people. And what I found out in my relationship and in my current marriage, even though we've only been married a short amount of time, is that I am not always a good person. I'm a sweet person, I'd like to think. I'm not a perfect person, basically. And when you remind yourself that you're not a perfect person, then you'll begin to understand a little bit better on how to date. So that's why I say I feel like dating should be fun. I recommend people have a roster. Women have a roster of people because shit happens. I feel like y'all, we people do that to get married, and I and I I get it. Like I get that people want to be married people want that but i think this is the time when you're first hanging out this is the time to really know what you like a lot of women don't even know what they like and don't like they just they just they just go with the flow they don't know i know a lot of women they ain't never been on dates like if you know you like dates and you talking to somebody that ain't never took you on a date that's that's when you cut them off like those are the things that make you cut them off. But if he not blowing your phone up every day or he's not doing what you want him to do, that is control. You know, you we be wanting guys to be up under us all day. This is not that. Men don't do that. So, yeah, I'm putting this mask on my face. I'm using my hand. I wish I had. I don't know where my tools have gone. But this is that mask that I'm putting on my face. Um, it's a. I have dry skin, so especially in the wintertime. So I'm just putting it on. Like my, you and my husband, like we talk a few hours throughout the day. Like we just check in, how was work going? You okay? Kind of stuff like that. And then if something happens, we do talk to each other. But to just be sitting up, talking on the phone, like then what are we gonna have to talk about when he get home? Consistency, to me, consistency means, like, keeping up with what you started. Like, if you started taking me out on dates, then you need to keep, keep it up. If you, that, and if you stop doing it, then that's when I know something wrong, right? That's when you cut them off. But just cutting a person off because they're not, not doing what you want them to do. Like, you know your husband not going to do whatever you want them to do, right? You got you have to think about these things if they, like if that's what you really want if you really want to be married like you got to understand that you're not gonna get everything you want because that's just not realistic. So my advice all the time I tell my friends I tell women to relax like if you've been talking to a guy for less than three months and you already doing investigative work like if you know like if you feel like they have a girlfriend or wife or something like that then yeah back the fuck off but if you are dating a guy and or talking to a guy y'all not in an exclusive relationship meaning that y'all did not break this shit down and say we're together and I'm only dating you and and that's what we're on then there's no reason for you to be trying to like do this investigative ass work like just enjoy the the time like enjoy enjoy the person like if he is talking to other people 
you should be talking to other people too. That's if you that's if you are not in a relationship. If y'all have not established that y'all um are a couple. So if that is the case, if you're not talking to other people, because you're a I only want to talk to one person kind of girl, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what you want to do. I'm talking to the girls who want to really enjoy life and enjoy dating and enjoy men and they will try to shame you into believing that that's not okay but they do it all the time right i recommend because this is what i did and me and my husband talked about this this morning because he was we were talking about it and he was like whoa he was joking but he was like whoa that's what you did to me and i'm like that's what you did to me like you you were talking to other girls when we met and i was i was talking to somebody else before you know we like officially decided that hey i I only want to talk to you. I only want to date you. What are we doing? What should we do? Is that something you're interested in? Those are the conversations you have to have before you think you're in a relationship with somebody. <laughs> I just, I'm just saying, like, we have to relax. Just not we, but because I'm married. But I think, ladies, I just think we have to relax. We have to relax. Enjoy. Just enjoy, enjoy the company sometimes. It's not positive. If you're not actively going out, having a good time, enjoying conversation, then that's when you cut them just off. Like, if he is just talking to you to be talking, like, that's that's not intentional. The dating world has pee in it, but they really be the ones peeing in it, right? You know, unfortunately, dating is just a game. And you... It's, it's one of two things you're gonna either do what you want or do what you can and i'm all for doing what you want because if you're doing what you can i mean you just taking you taking what people hand out to you you are in control of what you do if you can't control what you do and how you move control your emotions that is like the key to dating controlling your emotions not letting him see you sweat over him or anything like that that's the key but what do I know I'm, I'm feeling a little tingle so yeah I'm gonna go wash this off my face in like 10 minutes and then we'll be good to go my face is big very clean you know basically fall back into the the normal routine that i have which is the toner and all of that stuff but yeah i started talking about this subject because of course there's like this big news that lori harvey is dating the guy from snowfall and it's like it's always outrage when she is public with someone i am all here for lori harvey that is that is like if 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 we had to suggest that she was a dating maven, then definitely follow her lead. She does not speak publicly that much about anybody she's dating. She does not post her business or anything. You know nothing. And that is how women should be. I have not always been like that. Like early on, I used to post about it everything and i'm talking before my husband like if me and my exes or anything like that had a falling out or had an argument i posted about it i posted about the solution i, I just i posted everything i felt obligated or felt like i don't i don't know why my mom was the one who told me about that like you know if you share if you overshare People either want what you have, so they'll try to sabotage it, or you'll sabotage it by airing out your dirty laundry. Every issue or every, like, isolated incident does not need to be shared. Like, we didn't know. We still don't really know the facts about why Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey aren't together. All we know is they're not together. And I'm sure she gets asked all the time, but the people who know, know. This is toner. This is the toner that I'm using. 
I'm, I'm sure the people who's supposed to know know, and that's really them two. But like family, I'm sure knows and all that stuff. But that's that's literally their business. And same with, is his name Idris? His name is Idris, the guy from Snowfall. But yeah, we know only because they posted. They've been posting pictures together. And he's been posting her. She's been posting him. That we know that there's something. Damn, we don't even know if they're together. They could be best friends who just get along and take pictures. You know nothing. All we do is assume. A lot of people feel like because, oh, you open yourself up because you posted it, then people can have opinions. Yeah, and that's all. But an assumption is stupid because you don't know nothing because you don't know them. Be, be Lori Harvey. Y'all can call her a hoe. Y'all can do all that shit. But have we ever seen a bitch sad? Nope. I don't care. I wouldn't want to see a. I don't want to see a sad. I don't want to see no woman sad over no man. I ain't never seen my mama cry over no man. So you ain't gonna see me cry in public over no man, or going online spazzing on no man because I can't have my way with him. I wish I would. You ain't never seen Lori Harvey do that. No ma'am. No, ma'am, if you don't want a roster, that's fine. Keep doing what you're doing. If you feel like that's working for you, then do it. But if not, baby, you might wanna, you might wanna sit on this here YouTube and look at Lori Harvey. She said, know your worth. <clears throat> and if you notice, you ain't never really heard her talk, for real. Cause she don't do all that talking. She she stays on the subject. You ain't never heard her say nothing bad about nobody she's dating. I had to learn that. I had a man that I used to date dumped me ghosted me we dated for like one or two years dumped me ghosted me moved it took everything jesus and his disciples not to drag this man on social media because at that time i was i was social media heavy i posted everything it took me everything not to drag that man on social media about how he did me but for what why was i gonna do that for so most people can get in my business so men can look at me like i'm fucking unstable and under in the range because i can't control my emotions i've done that before i've done that with guys i've dated who have done me wrong i've posted about them and then I had to delete it, and I look stupid. Because now people know my business. Now I'm embarrassed. I embarrass myself. That kind of stuff. Be like Lori Harvey, y'all. It, go, it all goes, turns back into be like Lori Harvey. I'm sure if her and Idris work out, great. If they don't, she's going to keep it moving. Because she deserves that right. So does he. So does he. And that's how I feel about people from my past. Like... You, you have, I don't control you. You have a right to not want to be with me. This is some eye gel. You have the right to not want to be with me anymore for whatever reason. You know, I do have right that I feel like if you want to date other people, see other people, just let me know. Don't let me find out from nobody else that has always been my thing. We have our rights. We have rights. So be like Lori Harvey. This is some collagen I'm putting on after my eye cream. My skin looks really good and supple. I feel like I really got that part out of my nose. It looks a lot better. I'm going to use this moisturizer. For we've been me and Michael have been married for four, four months. And we still joke and laugh about like the past and how we dated each other or whatever. Like we like had to, you know, have conversations, tough conversations about seeing other people. And we don't, sometimes it's easier to have them, but they're not easy to experience. Just know that if you, if you like have honest conversations, with people you date like it, it doesn't get harder i mean it doesn't get easier yeah my dog is over here licking his hands and it's bothering me so bad freddie no stop it uh put the moisturizer on i actually wanted to put this oil on my face because it's cold but uh and i'm using this olay complete SPF um, sunscreen is SPF 30 sunscreen. Um, this does leave a white cast. I literally use this much because 
it does leave a white cast. The cast goes away. But I literally use that little because I don't like all that white cast because I got so much product on my face that sometimes it, you know. But yeah, this is my skin routine. What did we learn today, ladies and gentlemen? Be like Lori Harvey. <laughs>